Welcome back guys, it's that time again, I'm going to be showing you guys around my Red Rocket Truck Stop settlement. This has taken me a long time to build, probably about two weeks because I've been interrupted a couple of times. About two weeks worth of building, it should have been done a lot quicker than that, but all you guys that build out there know, know what it's like. Time gets away from you and then it ends up being twice as long as you intended it, but I'm, I'm jabbering on. So anyway, let's get on to the build. This is my front entrance. So you've got two heavy laser turrets there. On this circular tower we've got three more there. This is the front, it's all shut off. We've got McCready manning a guard station there. Check wire. All came with a protectron. So we've got trip wires there, linked up to flamethrowers. It's very good for protection. You're trying to come through that door, you're uninvited, you're going to get burned. So on the left, we have our security station. A trip wire again going into there with another flamethrower. This is where my, um, I say the boss, when I'm not here, this is the guy that runs the settlement when I'm not here. This is his office. And this is a dude. You know what I call a good day. One that ends with that Full heavy combat day. armor. Got some weapons, some computers, nice place to chill. So that's that. That's my my character's house in the middle there on top of the truck stop. So as we continue on the left we have just like a little sleeping sleeping area just for some settlers. I wanted to make this settlement look as lived in as possible. I'm trying to go as slowly as I can, I don't want to mess up my frame rate. Nice little bonfire area in the middle. Got some bomb in. I never want to stay in their cage over here. This is the settlement's toilets, very glamorous. Got gents and a females, very standard. Same on both. Box cars work quite well for these little things. That way, Porter. So we've got some some nice quiet energy there. Look quite good. And here's the first little building. It's my clinic. We've got some dogs chilling over here. Not many doctors around these. Days. Very sparsely decorated at the moment. Nothing but essentials, really. Nice little seating area. Got my cat. This is the bar. Again, nothing really in the way of decoration, just just does what it's supposed to do. Some seating area out here. We've got some guys chilling, having a nook, kind of calling. Over here, underneath, we have my little crack house. So the junkies come, get their fix. Some some psycho, some jets, just some chems there. So you come get your fix, pass that on a shitty mattress. That's my junkie, junkie's little hut. Above that though, we have um, my farm. So this is where all the food is grown for the settlement. It's on its own plateau up here, which I think looks quite good. It's lit up at night as well. It's corn, potatoes, the usual stuff. I'm trying to go as smoothly but as quickly as I can. I've only got a 14 minute window as you guys know. If you're doing PlayStation, it gives, gives you a 14 minutes window. This is another little living quarters I've built. We've got a little muck fruit thing underneath. So we've just got some basics. Some sleeping bags. Again, I'm trying to get this as as real looking as possible, so I don't want to go like clean beds on the rest of it, just, just rural living I suppose. I think it's worked out quite well so far, it looks kind of cool. And then underneath a bit further on we've got another little food area. You've got some, some fish here, get your frozen fish from out of the, the cooler. Got some, was it Mylock eggs? Yeah, we've got some Mylock eggs there, fancy having a world's largest scrambled egg. Towards, towards the back end of the settlement. We've got a guard post up here. 
guard post. I like sticking weapons on his weapon racks on the, the guard post. Looks really good. Got views on the back end of the settlement. Check out what's coming. You can see the... It's not the right weapon. You can see the caravan trade coming along as well. So you've got a good view of that. Underneath this, we have my little smoking area. Yeah. This is where everyone comes in and want to have a fag. This metal circle I've got down here is just a little museum I've built. It's got all the various rare armors I've got. I've just put on display. So I've got the silver shroud. I can't remember what that one's called. Some sort of stealth suit. I've got the nuka girl. So this one I haven't figured out what I'm going to put on this one yet. Yeah, kind of cool. So to go around, still, this is um, providing power to this elevator. So when the power power is turned off, this elevator has no power to it at all. Not that settlers use lifts. But if they did, this is a way of making sure that no one goes up to my house unless I want them to. So it's got its own self-sufficient power supply, so that when I want to go up there I can turn on the power, and it works. But we'll go up there in a second, just finished doing the ground floor. Got some razor grain underneath this little house over here. Razor grain works quite well with this, it blends in with the, the floor quite nicely. So again, another little living area, try and cram as many bits in as I can. Basic, does a job, just so the settlers have somewhere to lay their head at night. I've just got a T-51 power armor here that I'm currently working on. Got some more power armors in here. Got different variants of XO-1. Again, there's about nine power armors in this settlement so far. I just keep seeing to be hoarding them all. This is my workstation. So underneath we have my, my water supply. It's all hooked up, and above it, we have where I do my workshop in. It's got some the workstations in here, weapons, tools, all the rest of it, that sort of stuff. Rusted up T45 there. I like the way the rusted look. It look, looks good. I don't want everything that's nice and shiny and clean. It looks too unfallouty. So. Shit it up. Make it look all shitty. Looks like it's actually gone through a nuclear war. Up here... I don't know why I've got this, actually. This. I don't actually have any animals here. The Crimin Beacon. Power supply again. Just thought I had nowhere really to put it, so I just... I stuck a little roof section on the... Up there. So that works quite well. We go down here. Back to where the protect one is on his left. We have this building here. We'll go up to the top in a minute, but in this little wooden construction underneath. We have some more power armors. Well I've the XO ones, we've got a bit of XO one there in construction. We've got another there slightly further on in construction, but it's Mark Three. Mark Three power armor. I haven't decorated the tools yet and he's put in some more tools. So if we continue up do, do, do. I like the way the settlement's turned out so far, it's got a good a good um, aesthetic to it. Everything seems to work well. This is where all the power comes from for the defence. So we've just got a big fusion generator in here. From the laser turrets. So yeah, turn it off. No defence, so make sure this thing's on all the bloody time. Let's go check out my house. Oh, you got you got to have one of these ghoul things. These these are funny as fuck. The ghoul chair, it's it's kind of messed up looking at it, but it's funny. So let's go check out my house. This was actually quite a bitch to build, trying to, because the red rocket truck stop's roof is not flat. You have to mess around trying to make it look. There you go. See, it inclines. So as soon as you get to the incline, you've got to make it look like it's actually still supported, not floating. So I can only go as far as this with the actual floor. 
Uh, they had a raised section above it here, and I just put stilts in. Yeah, it's as far as I can go with the stilts looking secure before they start floating, and it looks ridiculous. So let's go inside. I got another piece of power armor there. I think that's a uh, full Raider 2 power armor. Looks kind of sick. On the left hand side, we've got my Overboss armor. That's all kind of cool. Let's call it over again. It's got my living quarters. So this is where I live. Got a kitchen here. Some supplies for cooking. It's my little display area. Just got a couple of weapons. Another rare bit of armor there. Very basic. Sort of full standard stuff, just put on some weapons on display, that sort of stuff, make it look good. A sleeping area. Weapons again. Somewhere to eat so I can have my massive Mylurk omelette. There's a death claw, I'm gonna get that one. So yeah, this is my living area. We go up to the top floor. It's what I call the crow's nest. So we've got good views all around from the sediment. You can see exactly what's going on up here. Stuck little seats on each corner so I can have a sit down or if I can get you get a cellar up here, then come and use it as like a little sniping post. This has taken me a while to build as you can probably see. This is sick armor. This is, um, if you get through, spoiler alert, sorry guys, if you get through the, oh no! I think it's the Star Pieces, Star Cores, no, I don't want to trade anything with you. Ugh. Star Cores, I think they're called. The Nuka Cola Galaxy. You gotta collect all the Star Pieces. And you'll unlock, um, a boxing piece of power armor, which is this. It's the Nuka Cola Quantum Power Armor X01. It is sick. Look at that. If you guys want to know how to get that, check it out. Leave me a comment and I will show you guys how to get your hands on this rather sexy looking bit of Quantum Power Armor. But anyway, back to the full 360 of the base. I really like how this has turned out, my Red Rocket. It's probably the last time I worked on since getting Nuka World. I'm, I need to do my um, Nuka World or Nuka Truck Stop will probably be on my next settlement video. I haven't started it yet, but it'll probably be my next video. So Red Rocket's taken me, I don't know, a good nine or ten months to get around to doing. Everything else has taken precedence over it. So this is my Red Rocket, guys. I hope you like what I've created. If you have any comments about how I did any of this, or how I, um, any of the techniques I used, do leave a comment, and I will do my best to answer it as best I can. If not, let me know what you like in the comments. A like would be appreciated, and I will see you guys on my next build. Thanks for your support. See you later.